Hey y'all, it's Katie and welcome back to From My Vanity and welcome to my top 10 under $10 for face brushes. Now I've already done a top 5 under $5 for eyeshadow brushes and today we're going to be talking all about the face brushes and we're keeping it under $10. And just like with the eyeshadow brushes, I'm going to give you all 10 are going to cover the span of doing your face makeup if you're going to do a full face of makeup. So I have from foundation to concealer to setting powder and then a couple bonus uh, brushes that can be, they're more like multi-use so they can be used for different things depending on your preferences, that sort of thing. So yeah, I have 10 brushes sitting in front of me as well as two little bonus brushes that I want to include, but I didn't really want to include it as part of the top 10 under 10 because the brushes you have to purchase in a brush set and purchasing it is over $10. And while I know like if you divided the brushes up that come in the set, it would be each brush would be under $10, but I wanted to keep the top 10 under 10 brushes that you can individually buy that are under $10. So yeah, if you want to see my top picks for a full face of makeup that each one is under $10, Let's get into it. All right, so first off is foundation. Now, I guess you can use a brush for primer, but I'm not someone who does. So the first brush that I grab for when I'm doing my face makeup is a foundation brush. And my favorite is the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. This brush is amazing, and it was actually my first foundation brush I ever purchased. And this is the exact same one. It's still here today. I want to say this is over five years old at this point. I've had it a long time. It is still going strong, and I really like it. I think the... The aspect that I love most about this is that you can apply it to your face and kind of use more tapping motions and you can get a really full coverage application with your foundation or if you want a more sheer coverage you just kind of sweep it and just blend it in that way and it both ways it blends beautifully. So I love the versatility of this brush and that you can get full coverage or a lighter coverage and both ways it blends effortlessly. I actually just discovered that you can also use this for powder foundations and I didn't really even think about it when I had this but I actually saw a commercial with Bare Minerals and oh who is the YouTuber? I'll put her name here. I've been watching her for forever but I'm totally blanking on her name right now but she had done a commercial with them and she was demonstrating how she used their powder, their loose powder foundation and she was using this brush to apply it. So I've done that myself a couple times and I do like how nice it blends and also gives a little bit more coverage because it is so dense you can kind of sit there in the areas that you want more coverage and really get it blended in very nicely so I absolutely love this brush and I'm always always recommending it. So for concealer my favorite type of brush is one with a domed shape to it and a rather large not super large but larger than the typical concealer brush. So for an affordable option I highly recommend the Morphe G2 brush. This is one of the few brushes from Morphe that I really do like and that's actually like held up over time. I think I've owned this for three years maybe and so far no issues with it. Um, I have had two brushes from this line and besides some misprint on the brush, the brush itself is pretty darn good quality and I really like it because of the big, as I said, a big dome shape. It makes it really easy to just set it here and then just spend some time going back and forth and it blends out very easily and it blends out really nicely. You don't have to worry about blending out the edges of your concealer because with this taper to it, I feel like it just does it itself as you are blending it and just patting it along your eye. Um, I typically pat but sometimes I sweep and blend in both ways blends out my concealer really nicely and because of this tip to it it's able to get kind of right in here at the inner corner pretty darn easily so yeah this is my favorite type of brush to use when I'm blending out my concealer because it's just so easy and effortless and I don't have to spend too long on my under eyes with like a tinier brush this is just kind of one and done highly recommend and this G2 brush is really really good so then to set my under eyes, I like to take the e.l.f. blush brush. Yes, a blush brush, but this is absolutely perfect to set your under eyes. It's a bit larger than some setting powder brushes, but I just love the size and it's so easy to just sweep it underneath my eyes, one and done. It has a really nice taper to the side, so it really picks up the product and then sweeps it or packs it on, whichever way I feel like applying my um, setting powder and I love it. The quality of these brushes are pretty hit or miss. Some of these e.l.f. like black handle brushes don't last me a year and then others last me like five years. I think this one I've had for at least five years if not more. Uh, once again I think I bought it with that uh, foundation brush so probably around the five year mark is how long I've had this and I think I've had no issues with this. Every now and then with e.l.f. brushes I'll get the the ferrule comes off from this but I just put some super glue in it, stick it back down and it's good for months, years afterwards. But with this one I haven't had to glue it. I've had no issues. I suppose you could use this as blush if you like a really pointed blush application but my favorite and honestly the only way I use this brush is when I am setting my under eyes. Then to set my whole face, this is relatively a new favorite of mine but it's still a favorite and it is the uh, Real Techniques Instapop face brush. I purchased this trying to find a smaller all-over setting brush than the one that I did have which was very 
large and this just stole my heart and I have been loving it ever since. Because of the slanted tip it has to it, it works really well if I want to pat on my setting powder or if I want to sweep it on. Both ways it does beautifully and I just love the versatility of that. And along with setting powders, um, often I apply my powder foundations if I'm not doing a liquid and I just want to go on with a powder. This is a brush I've been using a lot and it's a lot easier because it's bigger than most of the powder foundation brushes that I do have and so it's just one and done but it still gives you a good amount of coverage because it's just so densely packed and yeah I love this landed tip to it because it just makes it so easy to pat it on or sweep your powder away whatever you are feeling like. This is technically $10.99 on the Ulta website which is typically where I get my prices from just because I feel like I'm always linking to Ulta but I still included it in this top 10 under 10 because at Walmart it is a $9.99 so I hope that's not cheating, but I had to include this brush because it is my all-time favorite. doesn't matter the price. So once my face is set, I like to do a little bronzing and a little warming up, and this brush is just beautiful for that. It is the Real Techniques Multitask Brush, this little baby here. Now, when I went and was doing my research to find out how much all these brushes cost, I couldn't find this one specifically. I found it in a set, but you can get a mini size. It's like the handle's kind of cropped off for travel cheaper than $10, so I figured since you can technically purchase it by itself just with a shorter handle, or you can purchase it in the set of three brushes, and I wanna say even that's around $10. I still consider that under $10, so I'm including it in this uh, top 10 under 10, but this brush is beautiful, and honestly, I purchased this brush on a whim, but I love it, and it's honestly the brush that I always reach for, no matter how many brushes I have in my brush collection. I love this brush for bronzer. I think the reason I love it so much is because while it's pretty wide, and it's very easy to just give you that bronze glow all around the perimeter of your face, it still has a pinchness to it right here at the ferrule, so it does kind of pinch it a little bit and so on the days when maybe I don't want to contour or I want to do some bronze touring and kind of just do both at the same time I can warm up the perimeters of my face very easily and then I'll lay it on the side and just dip this edge right here into the the bronzer the contour whatever powder I'm using and I'll just put it into the hollows of my cheek really quickly and just kind of concentrate it on the side of the brush right there boom done it looks beautiful it blends out nicely I don't have to worry about grabbing a different brush and it gets the job done but yeah this is a brush that I just really love I love how easy it is to get the effect that I want with my bronzing or even if I want to use it as contour as I said on the days when I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to reach for a second brush but yeah this is a great one-and-done brush when it comes to bronzing contouring just warming up the perimeters of your face by the way I have fake nails on and I feel like I'm super clawy I feel like I always get that way when I put on fake nails of like the first day I'm just like <sighs> trying to adjust to them and these are actually really long. I usually wear Impress and they're pretty short but these are Kiss. I'll leave it linked down below if you're curious to see them. They're really pretty style but they're very long, very long for me so I feel like, feel like a cat. So I have two options here for contouring, but the first one we're going to talk about is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Brush Number 3. This little brush right here, it's a bit larger than I think you would think of when it comes to contouring, but it works really well and I've really been loving it. It fits right here and if I want to go a little more precise, once again I'll lay it on its side and kind of concentrate it here and then use the whole surface of the brush to blend it out. So it just gets the job done really well and easily. It's not my pick if I want to go very precise with my contour, but if I'm wanting to kind of be a little more blended a little more less chiseled with my contour this is the brush I reach for and I think that this is really good quality it's the BH Studio Pro and it's fantastic quality in my opinion I've had no issues with bristles falling out I have no issues with a ferrule it feels nice and it looks nice like it looks more luxe than a lot of cheap brushes that you see on the market so I appreciate that about it and yeah, this is one that I just, I really, really do like and I highly recommend. But if I'm wanting to go pretty darn chiseled with my contour, my preference is this Wet n Wild Contour Brush. I think it's just called a contour brush. They don't have any writing on it or anything, but I love this brush. And it just, it's really great for sticking right there in the hollow of your cheek and really chiseling it out. And also with the quality of these brushes, I've had no issues with the any of the bristles falling out or getting scratchy. They're still really soft and I've owned this for months, maybe even a year at this point. But I mean, the handle itself doesn't look especially luxe or feel especially luxe, but I mean, I think this was a couple bucks. So for that price and the fact that the bristles are still really, really nice, they feel soft, they're not scratchy at all, and they haven't fallen out over time, I'm very impressed with this. And this is one of the ones that I reach for if I want a very chiseled contour for the day. This is a great brush. It just gets right in there and chisels it out. And even if I am wanting this for blush, this works really nicely for blush. If I'm wanting to have a more precise application to my blush, I just put it on there and sweep it and it gets the job done very nicely. So I love having a brush that is good for more than one purpose. So this brush, I have used it for both contour and blush and it works fantastic. 
If I have a very pigmented blush, my number one blush brush to reach for is the Real Techniques blush brush. I know this is huge and I know a lot of people are just like, oh my goodness, who uses that for blush? But I do and I think it works great. I don't stick the whole thing and swirl it into the brush. I just stick it on the tip of it or on the side of it, however I'm feeling, and then I just flick it on the top of my cheekbones or the apple of my cheek right there and it blends it out almost instantaneously because it's so nicely tapered I mean even down to here the taper is just so nice on this brush and it makes blending in your blush really easy really quick and effortlessly and if you have a very pigmented blush it makes you not go too heavy with it so you don't end up looking like a clown highly recommend this I've had this for years uh, real techniques quality in general is fantastic I've never had a problem with any of the brushes that I've owned from them and I own a lot from Real Techniques so I highly recommend and I really do like it and if you don't mind a large brush for blush and just maybe use a corner of it or the tippy top of it for your cheek it's really really nice I've heard some people also use it for um, bronzing and that's a great idea too to bronze it up I don't know why I never think to I think because it's so domed and I don't know I just never think to use it for bronzing but that is an option but yeah this is my pick for blush all right, then last is just highlight, and my pick for highlight, I actually have two brushes here, but we'll go with the first one that I've really been loving. It's the Morphe M501 brush, this brush right here. I like it for the shape of it. The bristles itself are kind of scratchy, especially since I've owned it. I want to say I've owned this for... Oh my goodness, how long have I owned this? Maybe half a year, maybe almost a year at this point. I've owned it for a while, I've washed it a whole lot, and I feel like the bristles are starting to feel a little more scratchy. I noticed them falling out more than I did at the beginning, but with that said, it's pretty darn affordable and it's lasted me a good long time, and I like this shape when it comes to applying my highlight. It just makes it super easy to just put it right where I want it, blend it out a little bit, and you're done. Nothing too crazy, you don't need a big old fan brush or anything. This is really, really nice. Another brush that I really do like for highlight and I also have used this for setting powder as well of course I wash in between but it is the Real Techniques setting brush and it's really nice and small and I've used it for years to set my eyes but it's as you can see it's pretty darn small so I just felt like I had to sit there longer and apply my setting powder instead of with this one I just felt like it was boom one and done this it took a little bit longer so I just kind of stopped using it for setting powder and then recently I was like you know what that's honestly pretty darn close to this size or the Sigma was an FO3 brush. It's kind of similar. I wonder if it would work nicely. And so I've been using it to apply my highlight and it's really, really nice. It's a bit more uh, tapered than this uh, FO3 brush, which is what my current favorite for highlighter. As you can see, like the taper comes down a bit more on this brush than this. The taper probably stops right here and the taper on here almost half of the brush so it's a bit more of a taper to it but still it applies it pretty much the same and it's very easy to just sit on there and apply it and if you're talking about longevity for both of these brushes this setting brush is going to last you a whole lot longer than the Morphe brush so if you're trying to decide between the two you don't really have a preference for shape I would say go with this one but yeah this is really fantastic for highlighter and I've only started recently within the last month or two maybe two months been using it for highlighter but I really like it so I had to include it in my top 10. All right, so those are my top 10, but for my two bonus brushes, I wanted to include these because I really do love both of these brushes and I use them a lot. But as I said, they come in a brush set. And in fact, I think they come in the same brush set. So you're gonna spend over $10 to get both of these brushes. But first, the first one is the, what is it called? Buffing brush. This is one of my all time favorite brushes when it comes to applying foundation if I want a more sheer coverage. If I'm using, even if it's a full coverage foundation or a lightweight foundation, whatever it is, if I use this I get a very light application I just feel like it blends it a bit more than this brush whereas this I feel like you can get a really heavy coverage get a really full coverage look with this this just blends it out a little bit more so you get a more of a natural more wearable not such a heavy feel to your makeup so this is honestly the brush I reach for a ton it reminds me of the F the flat top kabuki brush from Sigma I think it's the F80 brush those type of brushes it cosmetics has a flat top like that it reminds me of those but just a teensy bit better because because there's a little bit of a curve to the brush and it's a little tapered right here so it just I don't know it blends it out just a little bit nicer I feel like it's not quite so blunt on the edges so it makes it a little bit easier when you are blending in your foundation I don't know what about it but it's just magical and I really do like it and if I've cleaned all my face brushes honestly this is the first one I'm gonna reach for and dirty up before moving on to the other brushes because it's just fantastic and it's so affordable such good quality again this is a brush I've had for years and I've never had an issue with any of the bristles falling out the ferrules coming apart nothing 
And then the other brush was the contour brush from Real Techniques. This is my favorite brush when it comes to contour. I know I mentioned two other ones and those are very beautiful. I really do like it, but this is my all time favorite. This out of all the brushes in my collection, and I'm thinking over them all really quick right now to make sure, this is my favorite if I want a very chiseled contour. It is just, it's a bit smaller and I love the roundedness of it. So it's so easy to just get that point right in the hollow of your cheek and blend it up and out one and done, so easy, it gives a really intense and very defined contour, but the way it is uh, tapered here at the edges kind of allows you to make circular motions as you're bringing it back to blend it out. And I just find it very quick and easy with this. And I think the biggest reason I love it is because it is so small, it's really easy to fit in there without getting the contour everywhere. That way I can just kind of bronze and then just contour, bam, right there where I want it blend it out a little into the bronzing and I'm done. This is such a nice brush. I couldn't do this top 10 under 10 without including it. So that's why I put it as a bonus because as I've said a million times, you can only get it in the set, which I really wish they would sell this individually. I mean, the set is affordable, but it would be nice to pick and choose what you want. So I do wish they had this separate that you could purchase it separately, but they don't. They have it in the set, but I just mentioned two brushes that come in that set. So in my book, that set is pretty darn worth it. But yeah, I love the Real Techniques contour brush. All right, so there you have it. Those are my top 10 under $10 for face brushes. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it informative in hearing all my favorite affordable face brushes. All of these brushes get the job done really well and depending on the brand and the quality will last you years and it's really good for a starter or a beginner who is trying to get into makeup. I know it is gonna add up if you are a beginner, but honestly, all these brushes will take you many years down the road until you can maybe invest in a nicer brushes. And honestly, with that said, these brushes, a lot of them I prefer over my high-end brushes that will last me years and years. And they've lasted just as long as my high-end brushes that have lasted years and years. I cannot sing the prices of Real Techniques quality enough. They have such affordable brushes and the quality is the best I've ever seen for that price value or for the price tag that they put on the brush. It's such good quality. I cannot recommend the brand enough. But yeah, that about wraps it up for this video. I do plan to come back and do my top favorite brushes. Now I've done my top affordable eye and face brushes, but if you're taking price out of the picture, there are some brushes that I just reach for day in and day out. So I think it'd be really fun to share with you guys what those top favorites are. All the brushes I've mentioned in this video and in my top five under five for eyeshadow brushes, all of them are outstanding and they are favorites, but I feel like with any part of your collection or any part of your life, there's always in one category a top favorite. And so I thought it'd be fun to kind of run through and share with you guys what my absolute top favorite brush is, not considering price at all, just sharing with you the brush I love the most for that job. But yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in that. The sun is starting to leave, it's starting to rain here. What's new? I feel like it's been raining every day for the past month here, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.